Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I am doing a mini session for one of my patrons. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom, and energy healing. The door is completely open so there aren't any specific goals. I wanna thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you. Thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube. I can't wait to see what we discover. It's all a mystery right now. So I'm gonna relax and I'll be closing my eyes and we're gonna see what comes up, okay? Okay, because this is gonna be the most meaningful wisdom and healing I can share with you today. Okay. Okay. My experience? All right. <laughs> this is how it begins. Are you ready for this? <laughs> It's all very quiet and I kind of feel inspired to whisper and there's a tiny, tiny little door. And I don't know if the door is to enter into a little box, like um, if I open it, I'm actually, what is in front of me, I open it, I'm actually looking down into like a little maybe jewelry box. Again, I feel like I'm too loud, like I need to be quiet. <laughs> That's my first experience, okay? All right, my guides tell me to just shh. I'm going to be as quiet as I can be. <sighs> okay, this is complicated because... I, I can tell that in order for me to touch this tiny door, I do have to alter my vibration. And the vibration has to be less vibration for me to move into the proper density so that I can actually touch this door. And part of this is out of like a kindness and consideration for the energy balance that we're working with. Um, that you're expressing to me, actually. So, am I supposed to alter it, per se? I, I still don't understand it fully yet. Still quieting my energy. I'm almost there. So when I look at the little door, I'm pulling from the door the exact sound wave, the exact frequency pattern, and I'm matching it, okay? Imagine if you could hear someone's heartbeat and then you would match your heartbeat with their heartbeat as the key that unlocks the door, okay? So I'm, I'm literally having to watch and receive the information from this door in order to match the door vibrate the door's vibration perfectly in order to unlock it okay i'm showing this for a reason um, it is meant to be like this for a reason everything about this is exactly important just like this all the right reasons okay i don't know why it has to be like this but it does so we just work with it. I'm almost there. Something that I think about, imagine loving someone so completely that you would actually let go of everything in order to sing the same song, in order to be at the same vibration or the same harmony, in order to match your heartbeat with their heartbeat. Imagine a love that is completely in tune and in harmony between one soul and another soul. Um, something that echoes to me about what I'm experiencing, what I'm perceiving, what I'm matching. Um, it, it's, it's almost like revealing this deeper information. And it's very beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. So that's the next thing, okay? 
because it is a kindness and a caring that that from my perspective or from my place that I could care so deeply um, to truly know what is this door, to know what is on the other side of this door, to truly know you, um, that I would honor you as you are and that I would match you in order to truly understand you. And so it is a representation of genuine love, it is a representation of genuine love. And so that that's that's an important part of this message. This message is about genuine love and what that can mean, how that could be achieved, but it's not so much with thought as it is with, I suppose, action, as it is the desire to achieve this in this way out of complete honor and respect of you, okay? So I'm just going to pause again. That was it. That was, that's what this door is about. It's not about unlocking it or seeing what's on the other side. It's about understanding what it symbolizes, understanding what it really represents. And it is this message about love and kindness, one soul to another soul. It's not that that other soul has to be anybody but who they are. And to do truly va value that other soul, to truly understand that other soul in, in a way you match, match their rhythm or their harmony to deeply understand them and to still love them for exactly as they are. It's, it's a really beautiful message about love. It's something that you need to hear this. You need to have this to think about or to digest it. Um, it's important that this is the message that is shared. I'm just going to stick around for just another minute just to see if, if anything else wants to come forward. You, you would really like to know more about yourself. You, you would really like to know more about you could say the mysteries of who you are. And the first thing I tell you is that, well, just so far, it seems to me that your soul has some deep understanding about love and a deep, um, it's almost like understanding the mysteries of love is part of the mystery of who you are. Let me see if I can see something pretty interesting, um, maybe a glimpse into yourself. Just another step further. This is the next thing. E okay, it's time for you Vibrationally, I say it's time for you to then let your guard down. Like you don't have to have your guard up. And I say that because in this energy space, I am doing everything in my power to match yourself. I'm in order to truly understand yourself. But if you are insecure, if your guard is down, if all the doors are open, then I don't have to do anything special. I don't have to, um, I don't know, do a backflip um, into a jar of water and then through the bottom, through a dimensional doorway into a strawberry. <laughs> you know, it's like when you let your guard down, then you just are free to be completely open, to be seen. And there's nothing extra. And what the scene looks like, as I say that, you, you basically have a, a, a white light and it doesn't necessarily glow, but it, it is there and it creates a spherical kind of outline around you and it makes me think of like a crystal ball 
and it's a thin layer but it's really tough like um, bulletproof kind of um, and it's just an energy layer okay but I tell you that if I truly wanted to this doesn't exist to me it only exists to you and out of respect for you I'm not going to step into that space you have to know that it's okay to just not work with that anymore. Because you're beautiful for all that you are. You're beautiful for all that you are. And all that you are is part of the mystery of who you are. If you don't want it to be a mystery anymore, then let your guard down. So then it's, it's not so hidden, you know? And then you, you have permission to put your finger on some of this special charm of yourself. And maybe it, it, it's more special when someone can see you for who you are. The way that maybe you have a sense about yourself seems to make it more meaningful that way. I'm just staying here until I get an answer about that shell, <laughs> about that white aura. You say that you, you've made it out of smoke. And either A, I could say, that's really cool. Or B, I could say, I could say good for you. You don't need it. Do you want me to value this aura? Or do you want to remove it and let me value you for all that you are? Does it matter how it was made? Perhaps you decided it does matter. Is this part of something special? But really, you are more special than that sphere of energy. This is the last thing. Seems to me that something that echoes back, that you, and I don't know if it's a premonition or it's a hunch or something maybe you're doing already. Seems like you, there's a lot that you're going to gain the courage or you already have the courage to just let some things fall to the wayside. Just let it fall to the wayside. And, and it's almost going to feel like free falling, but you're not free falling. You're totally stable and grounded because you're going to be working with seems like the tools that exist within yourself that make you so wonderful. And not to shield that or not to, I don't know, for someone to see that and to respect that still isn't allowing you to just simply come out of the woodwork completely exposed for who you are. It's, so I see, I don't know, this is what the picture looks like. It's very strange looking. You're just a person and you have these pegs sticking out of your back. And then that peg pulls out of one of the slots, it just falls to the ground. And there's another one and there's another one. And they just start coming out and falling to the ground. And then you have these holes on your back. But the holes aren't really there because the pegs aren't there because none of it was really there. It just needed to be there for as long as it needed to be there until it didn't. So it's just disappearing one peg at a time until you're done with that. Until you're done with that. And then you're not working from the back forward. You're working from the face forward. And that's, that's what it looks like. So I hope you found this meaningful and... It's truly an honor and a pleasure to meet you and get to do this session um, to get to know you in this way. So thank you very much for that. And thank you very much for sharing with us here. It's really cool when we get to see each other with different pairs of eyes and get to share what we learn and the exchanges can be so beautiful. So thank you. And for those watching, thank you so much. If you're interested 
in my Patreon community. You can check it out at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. I also offer sessions that are bookable on my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.